Pay close attention. The news you're about to see is fulfilling Bible prophecy. Welcome to another edition of YPN News, bringing you news as it relates to Bible prophecy and foretold by Israel Hawkins. Well, we start off our news broadcast today with a statement from an Ohio Attorney General, Mike DeWine, concerning the recent events surrounding the rape of a 16-year-old girl and the conviction of the young men who perpetrated the crime. But before we show this video, as Mr. DeWine points out, the responsibility is not only on the children, but the parents as well. But if you remember, we brought uh, you several reports uh, concerning the decline in our society and with the morals and so forth, and the fact that this actually goes further back than these young men's parents. It actually stems from a system that teaches rebellion and confusion as Yisrael Hawkins and the House of Yahweh has pointed out through the Holy Scriptures and that this dates as far back as uh, the days of a man named Cush. Yeah. So take a look at what Attorney General has to say, then compare it later to what Yisrael Hawkins has to say and you decide. Take a look at this. We must remember that what happened here in Steubenville what happened here in Steubenville can and does sadly happen across this nation. Teenagers and alcohol fuel parties, absent adults, bad decisions, acts of violence. They're not unique to this community. Bad decisions, acts of violence, and cell phones to capture and record all of them. We have, in this country, a societal problem. This began as a rape of a 16-year-old girl, a horrible crime of violence. But it also represents blurred, stretched, and distorted boundaries of right and wrong. While this started out being about the kids, it is also just as much about the parents, about the grown-ups, about the adults. How do you hold kids accountable if you don't hold the adults accountable? In this age of social media and instant communication, there seems to be this culture of anything goes. Act now, think later. As we all know, technology makes it, makes it possible to disseminate images, words, information, either true or false, at the push of a button. Because this can be done so quickly, it removes, in essence, a layer of accountability. But candidly, this mentality extends far beyond text messages and Facebook or Twitter posts. It's also about the underage drinking and the sex and the lying and the disrespect. All too often, parents have put on blinders. They give their phones, they give their kids or allow their kids to have phones and cars and let them have these parties and all the while the lines of appropriate behavior simply get blurred. It is up to the adults. It is up to the adults to intervene. It's up to the adults to change things. It's up to the adults to set boundaries. It's up to the adults to teach the kids right from wrong. Interesting comments. Now, from out-of-control behavior of our youth to out-of-this-world planets in their youth, this next report is stumping scientists around the world. Now, the recent discovery of a planet that is 11 times bigger than the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. 
But size, but the size of the exoplanet isn't the mystery. The newly discovered exoplanet dubbed HD 106906b orbits a single star like Earth, but a distance so far it shouldn't exist. Interesting. The planet is so far from the star, like Jeff just said, that it shouldn't exist according to current planet formation theory. Hmm. And of course, that's really got everybody up in arms right now. Uh, but current, because current theories say that planets that orbit a parent star are thought to exist as relatively small asteroid type bodies uh, that got clustered together in the disk of gas and dust and so forth surrounding the host star. Of course, this doesn't explain how planet HD 106906b forms, seeing that it's so far from its parent star. Wow. Well, that distance, that planet HD 106906b is from its parent star is 60 billion miles away, more than 650 times the Earth's distance from the Sun. Now, by comparison, our farthest planet, Neptune, is only 30 times the distance of the Earth's orbit from our Sun. Now, the lead researcher said that the perplexing planet doesn't fit any model of the planet star formations either. Mm. He continued, systems like this one, where we have additional information about the environment in which the planet resides, have the potential to help us disentangle the various formulation models. Future observation of the planet's orbital motion and the primary star's debris disk may help answer that question. Uh, HD 106906b was discovered using a thermal infrared camera mounted on a telescope in Chile and was confirmed using data from the Hubble telescope. Hmm. Now, shifting our focus now from surprise planets to surprise sentences, YPN's Larry McGee has our story on Ethan Couch and the four victims he killed while driving drunk and the defense, affluence defense, that some feel got him off with murder. Hmm. Well, Larry, just how fast was Mr. Couch driving when this occurred? Ethan Couch is reported to have been driving 70 miles an hour down a 40 mile per hour street when the incident occurred, which took the lives of four people. The families of the victims who were all present at Ethan's sentencing this week were hopeful that he might receive the maximum sentence of 20 years. Instead, he will likely serve no prison time with the exception of a few nights in juvenile detention while waiting on a judge to reach a decision concerning a 12 $1,200 per day treatment center, which his father has agreed to pay for. The families in response believe that justice has in no way been served, and Eric Boyles, who lost both his wife and daughter in the incident, spoke with reporters for the first time and said, this was just wrong. The facts and events were difficult enough, he said, but nothing was more difficult than hearing Ethan receive the slap on the wrist for his actions. Mr. Boyle's wife and daughter, Holly and Shelby, were standing alongside the road as their youth pastor, Brian Jennings, helped Brianna Mitchell change a flat tire. Ethan Couch, driving drunk in a pickup truck with several other people, crashed into the four victims and killed them. His blood alcohol level was triple that of the legal limit, and two of his friends were also hurt as well. Ethan's defense attorneys, who applauded the judge for what they called courage in issuing the light sentence, argued that Ethan's actions were the result of an abusive and dysfunctional family with parents that condoned drug and alcohol abuse and never set boundaries. The victim's family say, Money has always kept Ethan out of trouble, but this was one time they asked the court that justice and not money prevail. Responding to the outrage, prosecutors say that if Ethan messes up, they will be right there to play their part once again, no doubt, in the drama of the rich and their foolish and hurtful lusts, which drowned them and others in perdition. For YPN News, I'm Larry McGee. It's on, Jeff. Back to you. Well, that's sad. You know, way too many of these tragedies taking place that all could be prevented with the positive character trait of self-control. That's right. 
Well, our next article focuses on the fact that the Earth itself is being broken down because of several different reasons, one of which being the diseases created by mankind. Now, about five miles off the coast of Key Largo sits Aquarius Reef Base. Now, this man-made habitat that sits in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary is the world's only operating underwater research lab. The 43-foot-long laboratory run by Florida International University sits 63 feet below the surface. In an interview with CBS News, marine biologist Mike Heidehaus, who refers to the underwater lab as his home, commented on what makes this such a unique experience for scientists. He said, probably the most important thing we have here is the gift of time. At Aquarius Reef Base, you may have eight or nine hours of outside underwater experiencing the reef and collecting data. Aquarius is especially designed to allow scientists to live and work on the reef for, for explorations that typically last about 10 days. Now, most of the research at Aquarius focuses on ocean health. And scientists estimate that in some parts of the world, and here's the staggering st statistic, Katan, 90% of the coral has disappeared because of warming water temperatures, pollution, and disease. That's amazing. I'm assuming that disease is not coming from the coral itself, mm -hmm. though. Sad. Biologist Darren uh, Burkpile captures fish to test for bacteria and viruses. He explains, viruses cause diseases in lots of different organisms, and we don't know how many coral diseases transfer from one coral to the next. And it could be that these coral-eating fish are really important for moving diseases around. Yeah, it's actually spreading that. Right. Well, lastly, for the news, YPN News has obtained a copy of a very special picture of a cloud that was taken on 10-26-2013. The cloud formed directly over the office of Yisrael Hawkins, pastor and overseer of the House Yahweh. Now, this is also the exact location where some of the priests in the House Yahweh cite the new moons, which set the feast days listed in Leviticus 23. Mm. Now, exactly 21 days, uh, or three weeks later, during one of Yisrael Hawkins' weekly Sabbath sermons, he mentioned asking Yahweh for an answer on whether or not it was the right time to bring out a very important message. Now, not realizing that the picture had already been taken three weeks earlier, he began watching the clouds, hoping and praying Yahweh would give him an answer before it was time to speak. Well, as the hours passed with no answer, the time of services was drawing near. Yeshua Hawkins made a call to a deacon, Deacon Zephania, that watches the clouds to let him know what he was up against. Now, the deacon went right away to looking for any answer that might appear in the clouds. Seeing nothing, the thought entered his mind that he may already have the answer in a previous cloud picture. And going through some of the recent pictures, he came across one he had saved a week earlier. After thinking there was something in the picture, but not realizing at the time what it was, and it was at that time that the letters Y-E-S stood out in the cloud picture. Amazed at what he saw, the deacon immediately called Yisrael Hawkins and excitedly reported Yahweh had already given him the answer. Now take a look at this amazing cloud picture. Katan, that is truly amazing. That is. 
Well, to find out what other exciting things are taking place in the House of Yahweh, call or write the House of Yahweh today and ask for your free copy of the Prophetic Word magazine and monthly newsletter. Here's how you can do that. You can write the House of Yahweh at P.O. Box 2498, Abilene, Texas, 79604. Or you can call them at 1-800-613-9494. Or you can visit them on the web at www.yahweh.com or www.yeshohawkins.com or www.yahwehsbranch.com. Of course, you can email them at info at yahweh.com and all calls outside the United States. Please dial the number on your screen. Well, don't go anywhere. Up next is another exciting message from Yosha Hawkins. From all of us here at YPN News, I'm Jeffrey Heimerman. And I'm Katana Alexander. Thanks for watching.